So today I am doing two quick reviews of Black Hat and Maggie and I'm going to start talking about Black Hat because this movie wasn't good. I'm not one person to like sit down and say that a movie isn't good but this movie was just... It was almost unbearable. Like I almost didn't get through this movie. So Black Hat is basically about a hacker who is in jail for stealing like millions and millions of dollars from banks and he has like 15 years left or something like that, I don't know. And he's then being taken out of jail to try to find other hackers, which means that we have a hacker trying to find other hackers movie and oh my god. So Mikey Man is the producer behind this movie and when I heard that I was a little bit like Really? Because Mikey Man has produced good movies like Heat. It's not personally my favorite movie ever, but it's still a good movie. And then he has produced other movies that isn't as great. But I still had hope when it came to this movie because I thought like, oh, maybe he's on a, you know, high streak. But this movie wasn't good. It wasn't good. This is a great example for a movie that you really want to like just based on an actor. I sat through this entire movie and thought I want to enjoy this. I want to like this movie because of Chris Hemsworth. I want to like it because Thor's in it. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. This movie was just so confusing and everyone, everyone in this movie were boring. You kind of bought this friendship between Chris Hemsworth and this other dude, but you did not for one second buy the relationship between Chris Hemsworth and this girl. And it was just, it was just forced. Everything in this movie felt forced and shaky cam. So much shaky cam. The only thing that was like really good in this movie were the shootouts. When you watch a Michael Mann shootout, you just feel like you're there. It feels very, very realistic. It sounds great and it looks great. And that was probably like the best thing about this entire movie. Shush. I personally did not enjoy this movie. I wanted to like it. I wanted to like it because Chris Hemsworth was in it. But everything just felt forced. It was confusing from time to time and it was boring. It was way way too long for its own good and you didn't really buy any of the relationships with anyone in the movie. It was just a mess and I didn't like it. So let's move on to Maggie. Maggie was a movie that I was semi excited for because I thought that the twist that it had on the zombie apocalypse theme were really interesting and basically it's about the zombie apocalypse and he has spread out through a virus I think? Or something like that, I don't know. How does any of these zombie apocalypse things start? I don't know. It just starts. And in hopes of containing and controlling the virus, people that are bitten are taken to doctor and he then examines them and then kind of determines when the turning point is going to happen and when it finally happens, the people are taken to quarantines and uh, I can't say the word. I'm sorry, but I, it's gonna stay because I can't say it again. And it focuses on a girl named Maggie who is like 16, 17 I think, and she gets bitten and uh, then you kind of get to watch her slowly turn into a zombie and the relationship that she has with her father and her stepmother and her friends and it's a chick flick with zombies basically. And I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with good things. The movie is beautifully shot. Like, it's visually beautiful. Like, it has this kind of grey-blue tone to it and it's beautiful in that sense. Every shot is just breathtaking. And Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, he's in this movie. I think that he actually did a kind of good job. It's not the typical Arnold movie. So I was a little bit like, mm, really? gonna pick Arnold Schwarzenegger for this kind of movie but he actually did a kind of good job it's still Arnold Schwarzenegger so he still has that very heavy accent and he's not the greatest actor when it comes to dramatic movies but I still think that he did a great job in it I still think that he delivered as much as he can and I am kind of a little bit proud of him if I'm gonna be honest I think that he was good in the movie he's not like spectacular or amazing but he was still good. The music in the movie was also good in my opinion. I think that it put a good tone to the movie and uh, yeah, that's basically all the good things I have to say about this movie. I'm basically talking about two movies that I didn't enjoy. I'm sorry, but it just happened like that. Abigail Bresling, Bres Bresling, Bresling, I have no idea how to say her name. The little girl from Little Miss Sunshine, she's in this movie. She plays Maggie. 
didn't like her. The Gamma has this Hayden Christensen syndrome where, you know, in episode 3 of Star Wars, he just looks intimidating when he doesn't say anything, but then when he speaks, you're like, don't do that. It's kind of the same thing with her. The moment that she speaks, it just annoys the hell out of me. I don't know why, it just annoys the crap out of me. And I did actually enjoy the supporting cast more than I enjoyed her, and that's not a good thing. I think that the transformation part was kind of okay. I'm seeing better transformations than the one in Maggie, but it wasn't horrible. This is basically a very slow relationship movie with zombies in it. Just nothing really happened and you didn't care about the characters, especially not Maggie. And she has this stupid love interest that you're like, no. That was my reviews for Black Hat and Maggie. If you've seen one of those movies or both, tell me what you thought about them in the comments down below. I would love to know. I don't actually know how quick these two reviews were, but Thank you so much for watching, be kind to one another and yourself, and I will see you in my next video. May the force be with you. Bye!